Hello Booktube! Today is March 31st and that means it is well past time I do my March book haul. Um, I have 14 books to show you, uh, mostly fantasy. Okay, all but three are fantasy. So let's get started. So the first three books are pre-orders uh, that I picked up from Amazon. Uh, the first two came in the same package. And then the third one strangely came a day later. I have no idea why, but anyway. So first up is The Counselor by E.J. Bitten. This is about a young a bureaucrat who is tasked with um, selecting the next um, monarch and discovers she has a taste for power. Next up is The Conductors by Nicole Glover. This is a historical fantasy in which uh, two conductors on the Underground Railroad with magical abilities uh, become occulted detectives after the Civil War. <clears throat> Likely the first of a series, because that type of occult detective um, can lend itself to a series quite easily. Um, so the book that was released on the same day as uh, the counselor and the conductors, uh, but ended up coming a day later for some odd shipping reason, is A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin. This is the sequel to her uh, debut novel, um, A Memory Called Empire. And in this novel, uh, the Tykes Kalanli, I know I'm butchering the pronunciation, um, are in conflict with this mysterious um, alien force that haunted the first book. Um, the Tykes Kalani cannot communicate with this alien, um, with these aliens, and in desperation they uh, bring in uh, Mahit Samer, the ambassador uh, from Lissel, as well as her uh, attache, uh, liaison, friend, girlfriend um, three seagrass to see if they can work out a way to communicate with these um, aliens and I'm quite looking forward to getting to this I'm also building a steep pyramid so I need you to have all of these books in order to do that so next is a book I picked up from uh, book depository uh, Peter Newman's uh, The Ruthless this is a sequel to uh, Deathless, which is his uh, second trilogy. Uh, the third and final book, oh, The Returned, no, uh, the next book should be coming out uh, this coming month, and I'll pick that up too at some point, probably. Um, as it is a sequel, I won't say much about it, except for I do love the cover. This cover is amazing. And then we have another pre-order, um, The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst. Um, this is, I don't know if this is a standalone or not. It could be, it probably could be. Um, so this is a novel about a group of um, heroes who participated in a previous epic conflict who are trying to live their lives and one of them um, wishing to bring back those she lost um, engaging in magic that could very well uh, reignite the conflict or uh, turning her into the dark lord that was far worse than or a new dark lord uh, the next two um, I picked up for just because I felt like it. Um, the first is The Velocity of Revolution by Ryan, by Marshall Ryan Moresca. Um, this is a new series from Moresca. Um, he is quite famous for his Meriday novels, which is a, um, which are a, a series of interconnected um, trilogies that um, culminated in a sort of Defenders style team up of all of his uh, various heroes and this is a, a new series 
that takes place in a diesel punk setting in which uh, a policeman infiltrates a gang of uh, motorcyclists and finds that he rather likes the lifestyle or is not entirely sure he wants to betray his new friends. Uh, next is White Trash Warlock by David R. Slayton. Um, this is a urban fantasy in which a um, war young warlock uh, goes on a journey of self-discovery and how terrible his family is. Uh, another pure I picked up is The Black Coast by Mike Brooks. This is uh, book one of the God King Chronicles. And in this book, um, an indigenous population must team up with um, an incoming population against a much bigger threat. Here's what I think this one's about. Uh, next up is a rather famous um, fantasy novel, um, American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Um, I had uh, this novel when it came out through uh, the Science Fiction Book Club. And when I first read it, I didn't quite get on with it. And I'd gotten rid of it, and then I checked it out from the library and finally read it and really enjoyed it. And I've wanted a copy ever since. Um, and I wanted the, um, the first edition, um, the one that when it came out in the early 2000s, the um, one with a tree being struck by lightning on a road. And not the more recent um, TV series adaptation tie-in cover. Although that one is um, quite fetching as well. Um, but then I was surfing on Book Depository. And I saw an, an edition of American Gods with this cover. And I loved it. It's amazing. So I went ahead and picked it up. Also because there was a 10% off uh, voucher on um Book depository at the time which was quite pleasing so for the next two books we leave science fiction and fantasy behind and we move to history so a few months ago i think in january a peg of the history shelf had this massive uh, book haul from uh, princeton university press uh, for which their Princeton had a sell on, I guess, in January. And I got curious. I'm like, I want to get on, get in on this. So I signed up for uh, various um, emails through uh, uh, Princeton University Press. They'll basically, depending on what subjects you're interested in, they'll send you targeted emails or newsletters featured from those. Uh, subject areas um and i got a a 30 percent um off a uh, coupon for uh, being a new email subscriber so in february i was going to use this and i did um i had several books on order and i went and i did everything and i clicked submit order or place order and nothing happened. It, the uh, screen didn't was like froze up, or it had like the uh, loading wheel of doom. And so I'm thinking, okay, what do I do? Uh, did I do something wrong? So I went and I um, refreshed the page, and that pretty much wiped everything out. And so I took that as sign. I'm just, I'll come back to this later. Also, I mean, at the time I was a bit more leaning towards science fiction and fantasy. I had just come off uh, reading um, The City We Became by N.K. Jemison and loving it and I wanted to pick up more uh, science fiction and fantasy. So I kind of left um, ordering anything from Princeton off till later and then a few weeks ago I was I got curious I'm like well is this voucher still good? Our coupon code still good. So I went, um, put two books that I'd 
originally headed my card into my card and checked and sure enough it's still good so i'm like cool so i went and did everything again and um pressed like sent in the order and it kind of had that similar screw up again and then i don't know quite what i did but this time it went through and so i picked up two books from princeton university press the first one is 1177 bc the year civilization collapsed by eric klein this is about the bronze age collapse in the in roughly about 1200 bc quite looking forward to that because i do love that period uh and the second book i picked up is the golden rhinoceros histories of the african middle ages by francois javier fauvel which i'm quite looking forward to i really want to increase my um history shelves so the next three books are back to fantasy so the final of book in the pre the pre-order is um the unbroken by c.l clark um which is about no, is this the one? Hmm. Yeah, it's about a warrior who uh, comes into contact with um, a believed magical, uh, a believed mythical magic user. Um, the next uh, two books are um, like tiny tour uh, novellas. Uh, the first is um, The Factory Witches of Lowell by C.S. Malaric. Um, this is obviously about a historical fantasy in which uh, the women who worked at uh, the Lowell factory, uh, some of them have magic. And finally, um, Fireheart Tiger by Elliot de Bedard. which is about a uh, young princess coming into her own. So, uh, let's see if I can do this without being buried in a pile of books. <laughs> oh, I'm quite happy. So, that was March's uh, book haul. Um, so, I'll pretty much for April, um, there's going to be some poetry. Um, I've ended off this month uh, with um, Hunger for Poetry. Um, I mentioned, I think, last weekly reads that I wanted to do um, the University of Chicago Press is having a sale that I wanted to get on, but that I was as intrigued, if not more intrigued, by some of the poetry in the Phoenix Poets series than I was some of the books I wanted to pick up from the sale, but those po uh, collection, poetry collections weren't on sale. Um, so I've been ordered some through at Libra, so I'm still going to do the University of Chicago Press sale. Um, and I might actually split that up depending how that goes. Um, and then there'll probably be some uh, fantasy. I have uh, three uh, fantasy novels on pre-order. Although that might change depending if I want to pick up uh, some more history. But in a booktube, we'll find out what I pick uh, for April, or like my April book haul uh, next month. Although if you can manage this, yeah. <laughs> so we'll find out what I pick up uh, next month. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. Uh, thank you booktube. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.